and a three, and a two, and uh, turn off the background music. What's up, guys? Truman here. So, welcome back to uh, another video that I've been uh, putting off for a while. This is going to be a video uh, just to the uh, autistic uh, side of my. <laughs> I mean, the people interested in autism, not the autistic people. <laughs> All the artists in the audience, say hi! Sorry about that. Um, no shame if you are autistic, by the way. It's just uh, my hilarious timing. So yeah, I mean, uh, people who have autism and people who are caring for people with autism or people who are just interested. Uh, so this is going to be a video talking about just the actual supplements, uh, uh, as well as answering a few questions that I've got from uh, people who are interested in the whole reversing autism protocol. Um, I find that I tend to be a bit of a broken record sometimes because I, there are some points that I need to try and drill home to people because they keep on asking the same questions, which is fair enough. I don't mind if you keep asking the same questions. Uh, however, it does take a leap of faith in if you are actually going to be implementing these things and actually seeing some change and some results. So, um, just as a preface, I'll just be going through the four, the three or four uh, fundamental steps again, just to make sure that people understand of actually getting rid of autism. First of all, you have to remove the environmental toxins and exposures. That's step one. That involves getting out, cutting out any sort of foods that they might be allergic to, cutting out any sort of other environmental toxins, something as simple as maybe there's someone smoking nearby, maybe they're eating junk food, maybe they're eating too much sugar, um, maybe they are, you have an undiagnosed gluten intolerance, maybe they have a mercury thing that's leaching too many toxins. So you remove the toxins first. That's the first stage. The next stage is to boost the immune system. And I'll be going through the different supplements which will also be in order. So you have to boost the immune system. That is by taking some of the supplements that I'm going to list. That is by getting them to exercise. That is by getting them out of the house a bit more. That is by improving their diet. That in, did, requires a new video on its own because I need to repeat that. Um, it requires having good food. It requires having healthy food to build up their immune system. And the next thing is gonna be gut detoxification. So if you're gonna properly get out all the toxins from uh, the system, then you're gonna to have to open up all the eliminatory organs like the liver and the kidneys and the intestines. Now, more often than not, someone who has autism or someone who is on the spectrum has a problem with gut, has a gut issue, has uh, stones in their liver, has uh, needs to do all sorts of cleanses. Now, there are lots of stuff that, that you can do for this. Uh, there's probiotics, there's uh, lots of colon cleanse supplements, but you have to, again, you have to take out the bad stuff. So take out all the junk food, then put in, put in all the good food for any of this to work. But once again, just to reiterate, the gut needs to be healed if you're going to see any sort of a benefit or if you're going to see any sort of a recovery from autism. Otherwise, you're just going to be going in a cycle and the toxins aren't going to be getting out. And a lot of the actual things that are causing the autism, like parasites, um, pathogens like candida or anything else, um, Inflamed gut, leaky gut, all this, all this other stuff that's letting in all these toxins in, um, into the brain and causing these symptoms, that will not go away until you heal and seal the gut. So that's step three. And step four, this is going to be the most important part and probably the one that requires the most amount of attention. That is um, chelation. That is uh, basically taking all sorts of stuff to help to pull out excess toxins from the system. So once you've taken out the toxins, and then you have put in the right foods and you've cleaned out the eliminatory organs, then you can start to detoxify and this is when people see the real results like i told you a story in my last video about how uh, there was a guy that i knew um who comes in regularly and we talk about this stuff he's in and out of this alternative doctor's practice and uh, he told me that the most recent story whereby uh, the, the doctor had uh, this lady uh, who had her kid with autism had a massive recovery within about three weeks just from following this these step processes and the school, the autistic school, actually had to call up and say, hey, there's something wrong with your kid because he's functional. He was actually verbal. He was actually questioning the teacher. And uh, the teacher obviously didn't like that. So she called up the parents and saying, yeah, there's something wrong with your kid who's usually nonverbal. But not only is he verbal, but he's giving me shtick. So <laughs> we need to do something about that. So this basically involves taking a whole range of supplements uh, anywhere, anything from alpha lipoic acid to... Uh, heavy metal detox agents like DMSA and stuff like that. Again, I cover this in my other video. If you want it in depth, I'm just repeating this just because I need to repeat it. And uh, as well as a few of the other supplements that I'm going to be listing in this video uh, to help to get those toxins out. And that's when the brain can properly function. And that's when all the other uh, organs start to come back online as well. And that's when you start to see a reversal of a lot of the behavioral issues. Now, ultimately, a lot of these issues will actually fade away if you follow some of the steps from before. Like, uh, you may find that someone who is gluten intolerant um, has the autistic symptoms because they have gluten in the system. 
And so when they get the gluten out, all of a sudden, there are a lot of their autistic symptoms go. You don't have to go through the whole process, although I recommend it anyway. But anyway, let's get on to the main supplements because I've been talking for five minutes. So uh, one of the top supplements that I found, this is going to be for stage one to improve the immune system, is turmeric. Now, um, everyone and their dog has heard of turmeric. It's a big, it's big everywhere. Everyone's been using it. And there is a reason. Uh, study after study after study has shown that turmeric not only is a great uh, way to boost mental cognition, it improves digestive health, it's a powerful antioxidant, uh, it improves gut health, it protects the brain against oxidant damage, it even detoxes, um, it even detoxes the liver, it increases bile flow, list after list after list. It improves the immune system, it pulls out toxins, it does all sorts of stuff. So that is a supplement that I highly recommend anyone who is autistic or anyone that is caring for someone who is autistic to get on because it really does cover all four bases. Now if you're going to take it, I recommend taking it with piperin, that is black pepper, because that will increase the absorption rate by 2000%, which is pretty big. Um, so that's uh, black pepper. What I actually do in my recipe is I actually get some turmeric and some black seed oil, which is an amazing, amazing oil, which everyone keeps asking me about. And I really should do a video on or any other oil like hemp oil. And then you add some pepper into it and you make a paste and you just eat it. Uh, now you can add stuff to it like stevia or honey and they will eat it, uh, which is very good. And uh, that's a good way of getting uh, all of that in. So that, that will cover you from all four stages and it's absolutely invaluable. The next one is probiotics. Now, um, there's a, so much stuff that I could be covering in this, but just for the interest in time, I'll just be uh, cutting to the core of the ones that really, I think are really important. So probiotics uh, to help rebuild the gut bacteria. Uh, this can come in the form of sauerkraut, from normal supplements, from kefir, from kimchi, to all sorts of other stuff. Uh, that, um, there is a direct correlation between uh, gut issues and brain health. There's a very popular diet called uh, Gut and Psychology Syndrome. I'll send a link to it. It's a diet that I recommend anyone who is autistic or who is caring for someone with, someone with autism to get onto because it has shown amazing results across the board for helping to not only relieve autistic symptoms, but relieve all sorts of other symptoms like mood issues, anxiety issues, uh, gut bloating, insomnia, all sorts of other stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description. But probiotics are going to be absolutely invaluable because they will help to basically rebuild the gut. Now. One of the other issues that someone can become autistic or have all sorts of other mental or mood issues or other physical issues is because the gut is compromised. There are very many reasons for this. It could be heavy metals, it could be gluten because gluten destroys the digestive tract. It could be just a weak gut or an autoimmune issue. What happens is that the, the gut bacteria have been destroyed, the healthy gut bacteria, which help to maintain the walls of the intestine as well as other stuff. And uh, what happens is these holes appear in the gut and through these holes, big um, undigested food and proteins get into the bloodstream. And when they get into the bloodstream, wherever they go, they can cause chaos. This is why people who are allergic to gluten have all whole ranging of symptoms from joint pain to uh, insomnia to uh, random bouts of anger to wherever the gluten will settle or wherever the damage is caused, it will cause the body to mount an, uh, mount an immune response. Now. I'm going to stop with that because I could keep lecturing. But uh, probiotics will basically help to heal that area as well as another supplement that I'm going to list after this. But if you're going to see the gut uh, microbiome return back to normal, you're going to have to have probiotics. There is no way around it. If you like unless you're unless you completely starve them, it will take them a long period of time for the gut to heal in someone who is autistic, who I can guarantee has a gut issue. Okay, so uh, since we're still on the second stage, I think, or, or is it the third? Uh, so basically, you've got out all the toxins, uh, you, you're starting to boost the immune system uh, with the turmeric and stuff, and now you are looking to heal the gut. Now, I've already listed probiotics, but this is in the next big one. This is anti-parasite supplements. Now, this is a very squeamish topic. Topic. I, I know that most people don't really want to talk about it, but parasites are everywhere and we are filled with them. Now, back in the day, uh, when I say back in the day, in healthy cultures and societies, everyone who was working on the farm would go through a deworming process whereby they take a herb or they take a supplement, or maybe that supplement or herb or something their dietary choice would be naturally anti-parasitical. Because they knew that there were worms and eggs and stuff everywhere in everything that they're eating. Now these organisms are opportunistic, so even though you have them in your have them in your system, they won't hatch. They'll just pass right through, and they won't cause any damage. But 
Someone who is autistic, someone who has a damaged gut, or someone who is not eating properly creates an environment where these things can grow and they cause all sorts of other issues from anxiety issues, mood issues, they cause all sorts of skin issues, they cause um, ADHD symptoms, they cause Parkinson's symptoms, they cause all sorts of stuff. Asperger's symptoms is a huge one I found that um, uh, there was someone that was commenting on um, one of my older videos that said that after they did one of the Hold the Clark protocols, uh, actually a lot of their symptoms went away. It's because these parasites, they change your behavior. So you got to get them out. Um, this is for everyone as well. I can guarantee you that most people have parasites in their system that are wrecking them. But someone who is autistic is loaded, loaded with them. Um, I noticed this in myself. I noticed this in almost anyone that has, especially people who are on the severe end of the autistic spectrum, they have parasites in their system. So. This is why uh, you have to get, you have to first of all take the toxins out first, then you have to boost the immune system. Then you can go after the parasites. And how I would do this is there's all sorts of supplements like oregano oil, there's coconut oil. One of my favorite cleanses is the Holder Clark protocol. It involves taking uh, black cloves, wormwood, and another one, black walnut, no, black walnut cloves and wormwood, that's the one. And uh, you take them in a specific order and uh, they help to get parasites out of your system. Now, one of the biggest changes in my autism was when I started to get parasites out because they change your behavior in ways that you is it's hard to imagine. Getting the parasites out of the system use, using the supplements that I've listed and I'll probably list in a little list to the right of me, to the left, wherever, um, is gonna be a, one of the biggest steps to actually healing and reversing the actual autistic symptoms. People with autism are loaded with parasites and it's not just worms, it's candida. Candida is a big one. I managed to get most of the candida out of my system, so I'm, I'm sugar-free. I don't have any sugar cravings or random food cravings. I actually haven't eaten since January, which is something that I need to talk about probably because, yeah, I haven't eaten since January. Um, <laughs> the next uh, supplement, this is going to be actually related to the probiotic issue, is going to be the glutamine and the colostrum issue. So uh, these two uh, are absolutely imperative if you want to see pristine gut health as well as accelerated healing. Now, uh, not only do they uh, boost brain recovery, but they also boost gut recovery and they also um, improve and reduce the autoimmune response that comes from uh, having a compromised gut and all the different issues that it comes from. It boosts the immune system, it combats food sensitivities, it, lessen, uh, it uh, improves no nutrient absorption. Uh, you need those in your system, anyone does. I can guarantee anyone listening to this, if you were to follow any of my advice and take any of these supplements, you will see an improvement in your health regardless of autism or not. But if you are autistic or you're caring for someone with autism, once you have got the toxins out of the system, once you've started, they've started eating healthy food and you started to deal with the parasites, then you start adding all the other stuff like probiotics, glutamine, colostrum. You will see an amazing result. Like I said, if you implement this stuff properly within about two, three weeks, then you'll start to see an improvement in their autistic symptoms. And depending on how severe they are, uh, it can take anywhere between three to 12 months for someone's autistic symptoms to be, if not severely reduced, but reversed entirely. So yeah. Um, now the next one is going to be the stage four, which is one that really does deserve a topic all or at all. One which does deserve a topic. One which does deserve a topic <laughs> all of its own. That's a heavy metal kilish. I'm not editing this out. I'm tired. So this this one is going to be heavy metal chelation. So or just chelation in general. Now what you want for someone who is autistic is a methylator. Methylators basically work by stimulating or triggering. Um, uh, detoxifying one of the one of the body's various methods of detoxifying that's the methylation cycle or the sulfation cycle I've heard it said so many times I'm not sure which one's the right one but basically what it involves is uh, uh, sulfur and all sorts of other compounds bind to these toxins and they pull them out of the body through the lymph nodes through sweat which is the lymph nodes through the digestive tract and all sorts of other places now the top supplements that I found quite honestly there's hundreds of them but the ones that I've heard good recoveries from are B12, methylcobalamin, glutathione, uh, and alpha lipoic acid. There's also DMSA as well, but DMSA needs to be taken under like medical supervision unless you're really brave. But I don't really want to incentivize people to uh, go to the hardcore stuff because like I said, it does require medical supervision um, because it can go very wrong very, very quickly. So that's gonna be B12, methylcobalamin, glutamine. You can also throw some NL cysteine in there and um, alpha lipoic acid. Now there are lots of other ones, but I'm approaching the 20 minute mark. Um, so I'm not gonna be talking about that that much. 
And uh, the last one, just to throw it in there, if you're not taking it, is going to be magnesium. Now, magnesium, if you're not taking this in general, if you're living in the Western world, you are missing out. If you want improvements in your joint health, you want improvements in your brain health, if you want improvements in your energy levels, mood levels, you want improvements in your digestion, if you want to get rid of aches and pains, if you want to, I mean, magnesium, it's involved in almost every single process, the cellular process in the body, and it's one of those ones that most people are deficient in. So I recommend getting autistic or not on a magnesium supplement it will vastly boost in recovery vastly improve people's quality of life um, i recommend magnesium citrate uh, definitely uh, magnesium citrate is one of those is one of the good ones uh, that's relatively cheap there are far better ones than that than than, than magnesium citrate but in terms of a good over-the-counter one that won't break the bank magnesium citrate uh, is the one that i found that's uh, good uh, effective and it doesn't cost that much like I said, there are lots of better ones like magnesium bisglycinate and there's another one. Uh, but yeah, um, you can also do an IV as well. So that's all I'm going to say for today, guys, because I am reaching the 20 minute mark in terms of my recording. Uh, just to outline the process again, it's step one, remove environmental toxins. Step two, improve the immune system by uh, putting uh, healthy foods in and um, taking the healthy foods, taking the unhealthy foods out. Step three is to boost the gut health and detoxify the eliminatory organs. Now, I could have talked about detoxifying the organs a bit more, but I have 101 things to say and I'm trying to keep this concise. Any questions you have, let me know. There's an email in the description. And uh, chelate, uh, that's to pull out the toxins, specifically heavy metals or um, bromides like fluoride or excess chlorine and stuff like that from the system. Uh, if you were to do all of that, then you'd see a reverse, and, and well, you'd see an improvement in autism, in, in autistic symptoms, within a few weeks. But in terms of the long-lasting improvements, you're looking anywhere from a month to 12 months, depending on the severity of it. But there will always be someone, a special case, who someone who, no matter what you do, uh, they're going to have some autistic symptoms. Now, this is not like, there, 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 there always will be. I am not going to sit here and say that everyone can just be quote-unquote normal. Uh, there will be some people who, until medical um, technologies or natural health things have advanced, will be stuck with some of their other autistic symptoms, more or less, for life. Uh, this is a very rare occurrence. I find that most people can at least reverse their autistic symptoms to the point where they don't even notice it anymore, whereby they can live a quote-unquote normal, healthy life. But like I said, it requires following of these four steps, as well as any and all um, steps that you may need to take. And this is the point where my brain runs out of words. Um, so I'm going to close this by saying uh, thanks for watching and um, link in the description. I'll be making a video in the future about the specific diet and what you and going more into the specific diets as well as how to detoxify the organs for anyone who is autistic. Um, and yeah, any questions? Post them in the comment section or send me an email. Beaming out. Peace.